relationship between Bolivia and Israel had been has been rocky for many years. Actually, Bolivia had severed ties with Israel, uh, I think prior to 2019. Uh, but then when <clears throat> when there was a change in government in Bolivia, they re reestablished relationships. So the 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 left if left if government that currently governs Bolivia has always been, you know, very careful and has not had it you know, close ties with, with Israel, right? So <clears throat> in that sense, that is why, that, that is the reason why uh, we are seeing from Bolivia probably the strongest reaction, which is uh, uh, a diplomatic rupture, a uh, severance of ties. In the case of Colombia and Chile, it, it is more complicated because I think that those countries, you know, um, the governments are really worried about the disproportionate use of force by the Israel, Israeli military. In the case of Chile, Chile has a very important uh, Palestinian di diaspora, so that they have to factor that, that, that you know, that fact into account uh, in the response of, of the government. <laughs> true that the that the region is is divided um but I, I would say that you know in what in what there is coincidence is in three things one on the two state solution two there's widespread co condemnation of what Hamas did on October 7th and three there's also widespread condemnation of what Latin American countries consider as a disproportionate response by by the by Israel, because you know they are targeting civilians, uh, women and children are being killed, and 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 that is a clear violation of of international humanitarian law. So, uh, I think that Latin America it's going to be difficult to reach a consensus. But if if you would have to summarize, I would say that you know Latin Latin American countries would like to see a ceasefire. Uh, humanitarian operations in, in Gaza uh, to basically help the civilians of Gaza uh, and also trying to promote negotiations and dialogue that, you know, eventually, uh, not now, but eventually uh, in the long term reach uh, in, in, into a two-state solution.